In this video, I've made my very own false Brookhaven with fast cars, water parks, and even a plane you can actually fly on. The first thing we're gonna change around here, it's of course the spawn area. I want something that makes you remember me. That's why I'll be selecting all these green blocks and turning them red. The rest of them we can turn black. Those are the colors of my shirt. You also know that I always have this crown on. To have something related to it, we'll paint it yellow below the spawn. Now over on the models, we'll be looking looking for a crown. I found this little guy right there. Let me paint it yellow. And now I just need to scale it up. There we go. A lot better. Over to the side of it, we have these wooden tables, which are past their time already. So we're taking them all out. In their place, we'll get these nice looking modern couches. Another one right over there too. So that's how our spawn area looks now. It's a lot better than the other one for me. The thing is, the crown I put up here has vanished. Did someone steal it from me? Who did this to my my gold buddy. Here's our new spawn seats. A lot better than those rustic picnic tables. As you can see, I really like it. Brookhaven's trees have quite a simple design. They're all colored different shades of green. And that's exactly what we're gonna change. The dark green ones will turn into red trees. Just like that. Now these brighter colored ones will of course be painting black. These ones from the mountain are gonna be fully deleted. Because in the models we'll be looking for a volcano. We'll get a nice looking volcano for our game. Game, like this guy that has quite some charm. Except its shape doesn't make me think of a volcano. It's actually pretty weird. That's why I got us this one right here. Fire particles are constantly coming out of it. So that's what awaits us in the mountain. Pretty interesting. Over on the beach, we'll be deleting all the trees from here. In their place, I'll be placing these dead trees. They don't seem to have a life at all. But that's probably because they're right up against a volcano of heat. Which is cool. Now let me fill this place up before leaving. Awesome! We got all of them! We gotta change up the lake cabin. This doesn't work anymore. I'll get the old Roblox house. But in this case, it's on fire. I'm actually quite liking this side of the map. But this part has quite a bad vibe coming from it, right? Since we got a bunch of dead trees, an active volcano, and a house that's literally on fire. Let's try to make this place a bit more fun. I'll take the house fire out and all of these trees I just put. In that one's place, I'll get this little one. It seems like a humble abode. And I'll get some better looking trees instead of the old ones. To make it even more fun, you'll have this whole water slide to play with. This one will be here as well. I just have to get the yacht out of the way first. And we'll get this one, which is just so much better. Looks like we can even pilot it. All right, we gotta test that later whenever we log into it. Goodbye, volcano. In its place, we'll have a big Nando statue. Damn, Lake Madison has such a nice vibe to it right now. A lot more fun. Here's the little cabin we got with which looks pretty simple, but it works. We have some water slides we can try out. Let's see if this one at least functions. I'll click that, and all right, we're doing it. Look at us go. When is our splash coming? Awesome, we did it. Now the big statue of me in the mountain, one of my best additions. I'll even change the art. It's gonna be red now, and the other one will be black to match. Now inside the ice cream shop, you all must already know all the five flavors they got in here. But for me, that's too little, so I'll be getting a new freezer with tons of other ice cream flavors we can buy. And if that's not enough, we'll also leave them with an ice cream truck for them to use around town. Let me change some of the colors inside this place. Now we finally got an ice cream shop worth buying from. Actually, we also have to give some love to the arcade. They've had the same games for quite a while now. I think all the Brookhaven gamers must be tired of playing the same things. So I'll be adding a few new machines for everyone to play, like this cool one I found. This one is like those basketball hoop types. And if that's not enough, it has to have a claw machine. That's the rule. Why don't I get the original Mario Brothers as well? That's a classic. I, I bet everyone will enjoy it. I'll also get this other simulation. But we can't forget to have one with actual Roblox <laughs> games. You can play your favorite games right here. Ain't that fun? Finally, we have an arcade that gives us proper diversity of games. We've needed this for a while. The only problem with it is that this looks...
it's quite dark right now. So I'll give them a little light up top. There we go. We have a perfect arcade now. The old Brookhaven grocery store has nothing new to say. It's pretty regular to me. We're just gonna start deleting a bunch of these freezers. As we're gonna have one of those soda vending machines. It's not only for sodas. You can get stuff like waffles, cookies, or even chocolate bars. Now if that's not what you're looking for, I'll get us this one as well that has more food options. This Doritos shelf has just got to go. Because there's gonna be an array of snacks of all kinds in its place. We can't forget to have a little toy shelf inside of our store. Who wouldn't want to buy some cool toys? Look at how weird these nukes <laughs> with pizza boxes. I kinda love them. I'll also have a shelf with games as we're the gamer nation. There's a lot of cool stuff. Even our boy Sonic is here. Last off, I'll put myself as the cashier in case anyone tries to do any funny business trying to rob our stuff or something. With that, I think all of our stores are looking great. A place I don't see many players situate is Brooks Diner. It's basically a little restaurant for us to order some food and have some drinks. By the way, we can literally turn the heat up on the stove until a thousand. That lets us turn into the human torch. Look at that. But it's still not worth it. Sorry, not sorry. In its place, I'll put the famous McDonald's. At least I feel like it would be better than the diner's food. The airport is also kind of boring. So let's take it out. This place is just for show. So it's going away too. Because this will be our new Brookhaven Airport. You can see how big it is inside as well as looking just like some real life airports. We just can't forget to get the actual planes. We're gonna have some beauties. Just you wait. Look at this one too. It'll look great over here. Over on the grass we'll also get smaller port ones in case anyone wants to fly around. The motel has overstayed its welcome too. So there it goes. We can get something like these apartments. Oh, maybe this wasn't the best one to get. Someone spray painted a lot of it. Alright, now this one's gonna do great. A real hotel for once. And just so there's not a lot of empty space in here, we'll get some fun stuff like a Ferris wheel. Or even a kitty's little playground set. Now over in the neighborhoods, it's still pretty barren. But in actual Brookhaven, there's not tons of awesome houses for us. That's why in our new one, we're gonna have the best realistic ones on the market. Something akin to real life. These ones feel like they could be real. This person even has a whole gaming setup for themselves. And that's just a little thing you'll have access to. Completely free, by the way. No need for premium here. Alright, now we have the most beautiful neighborhoods around. Since we have a bunch of people living here, we gotta get some vehicles to go around. The ones I'm gonna will be just the top shelf stuff I find. Like this beauty. It almost looks like a spaceship. There's more to come. Just you wait. Look at this guy. It even has lights under it. I'm not sure why, but I want the Among Us car here. Even McDonald's is gonna have their own car. Ain't that cool? Finally, we have a really nice Brookhaven to play now. I'm liking it quite a lot. Just logged into my new map. Maybe you're asking yourself how you would get into this game and play with me. Well, you'll have to go follow my Roblox profile at NandoYT. You just have to click those three little dots that you'll be able to use the follow button fairly quickly. With that done, you'll be able to join me in some videos and just go play with me whenever I'm doing that with my maps. Now, if we go further down, you'll also find the official Nando fan group. Go right into it and become a member as I'll for sure announce some new things in the future. Going down, we can find the Experiences tab. Here you'll see the maps I've done. We have this Help Nando one and the one I've just done on the left. Now that you're all aware, let's look around the map and see what's up. Hey dude, are you chilling at the cashier? That's cool. What can we find in this little mart? Looks like there's some delicious stuff around. I just grabbed an orange juice which is quite a nice taste. Can I grab this smiley face? Is this some kind of soda can? It just looks like a cube with a face. I'm really not sure. We can even get a cheeseburger from this one. Ain't that awesome? Let me see the new arcade games. Do they hold up? Oh, hey Nando. I'll begin with this guy. I'm not even sure how it works at all. If I click this button, does anything happen? Well, I think it should, but it for sure isn't doing anything right now. Leave those games alone for now. Why don't we go have some ice cream? It's really hot out today. Look at Nando right there. This guy is putting in the work. Here's where I put those new ice cream flavors. We just need to slide the freezer door like that. I want this one. Doesn't it just look delicious? I didn't try it though. Let's see. Wait, what's happening right now? Did that ice cream just damage me? Really? Maybe that one was rotten. Let's try another one. Oh gosh, why? I think I just experienced brain freeze. That's why that happened. Just grab this blue car just to make our way to the airport easier. I really want to see if we can fly 
fly around the map. Let's hope they're actually functional ones. This one will do. Take me away, metal bird. Look at that. I can actually fly around in this thing. That's so awesome. Now for sure this should be added into regular Brookhaven. It would be so cool. Since we're in the air, let's get close to the big Nando statue. Can we actually land on top of its head? That would actually be pretty funny. All right, here we are. Oh gosh, help me out plane. Looks like we really can't land on him for some reason. Wait, why did the plane get stuck in there? Oh, at least we're here. Right at Nando's neck. This is kind of bizarre. I'm like the little devil on his shoulder now. We do have a really nice view of the whole city from here. Nando has quite a nice place. Over to the lake, we added quite a few things for us to have fun with. First thing I want to test is this red yacht. It would be so cool if we could ride it around. All right, that looks promising. Whoa, we're moving. I can't believe it. Different from regular old Brook have. In mine, you can actually drive the yacht. This is so crazy. Can we just try to use the boat on land? Dude, we actually can. We're basically making a parade with this thing occupying the streets. Maybe this is illegal. Excuse me. Yacht coming through. Oh, look, some subs even showed up to see the map. They must be so confused about what just happened. But to be honest, I would be too. Wait, it's... It's going on its own. I'm not sure why all my stuff does that still. Can he go through there? Nope. Stopped on its tracks. Now, why did the Nando statue just fall over all of a sudden? With that said, I think I'll have to leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. You already know how to find the game, so go do that. Also, leave a like if you've enjoyed this and comment down below what other map you want to see me do next. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're quite incredible. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox content just for you. Have a good one.